feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows Hello everyone and welcome back to Contemporary Mama If you're new, my name is Caroline Thank you so much for checking out my channel Today I am smack dab in the middle of my annual family vacation and I somehow managed to convince my cousin and my sisters to participate in a summer cocktail contest and we even got our husbands to agree to judge it. So tonight we are going to be sharing with you how we are making four delicious summer cocktails made by my sister Jen, cousin Emily, and my sister Rachel. So let's get started. But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water, let me have my peace And lead me to tomorrow, wind into my sail Away from things I let go, floating on the waves We go bottoms up, we go all the way When you're feeling down, push the pain Okay, Emily, so what are we making here? I am making a summer drink called the Prince Booze Day. Um, <laughs> this drink is inspired by Prince Wednesday's older brother, Prince Tuesday from the show Daniel Tiger. Um, and I just imagine that when he's not working one of his many entry level jobs, he could be potentially enjoying Fruit Loops and fresh herbs and possibly vodka. Um, so it's a safe we bet. Yes. Safe <laughs> bet. Okay. So what's in it? This drink is lemonade, watermelon, muddled blackberries, mint, and the most important ingredient is three olives, fruit loop, vodka. So it's two parts of the fruit juice mixture and one part of the fruit loop vodka. One generous part. One generous part. Smells so good with the mints. <laughs> Super summery. Pour over the ice. And oh, you can garnish with a mint leaf and a blackberry. <laughs> All right, let's see if they like it. Great. This is called the Prince Booze Day. It is lemonade, muddled blackberries, watermelon, and mint. And the secret ingredient, fruit loop vodka. Bacon. All right. That's the data fruit. <laughs> so what do you guys think? It's very refreshing. It's the spot on the summer day. The mint is very pronounced in it. The, uh, the vodka flavor comes through very clear. It's, as he said, excellent for a nice day outside of the lake. Doesn't mm -hmm. seem too sugary or fruit loopy. The ingredients really played off of themselves well, and um, it just was a really nice blend. All right. Cheers to the bartender. Yeah. That's called the Sunset Repeat and the inspiration for this cocktail really comes from my kids. Our favorite song to listen to together is Sunrise, Sunburn, Sunset by Luke Bryan and the kids ask for it by Sunset Repeat. So the cocktail itself is vodka, prosecco and then a mix in of a lemon raspberry simple syrup puree. Mm. Um, so the color is really pretty and sunsetty and the name Sunset Repeat is perfect because you want to have more than one. So <laughs> let's make one. Let's make one. Okay. So we're going to start by adding a generous shot of vodka, of course, to a nice glass of ice. Make sure it's chilled. And then we'll pop the Prosecco. Oh, prosecco. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Cheers. And then we top it off with the Prosecco. So how'd you make this? 
So the lemon simple syrup with raspberry is so easy to make. You can do it ahead of time. In a saucepan, I um, added a cup of water and a cup of sugar with the rind of one lemon. And you have okay. to make sure not to get the white part of the, the lemon peel. You want to scrape that off. So, so it's, it's just the, the yellow rind. rind. Not the zest. Well, you don't zest it. Okay. Yeah. So it's just the yellow part. And I simmered that until all the sugar was dissolved and then added in fresh raspberries and then pureed it and strained out the seeds. So you have a really nice consistency to the drink and you don't get the seeds okay. stuck in your teeth. Gotcha. So when I add it into the vodka prosecco, it should have a nice kind of sunsetty effect when you mix it together. And you can add as much or as little as you want, depending on how sweet you like your drinks. That looks so perfect. Nice Cheers. So guys, this is the sunset repeat. It is Tito's vodka prosecco and a raspberry lemon simple syrup. Thank you, fantastic. Cheers. Oh. I like how the prosecco adds a freshness to it. Mm. I think really the, sh the showstopper is a simple syrup. It um, has a nice lemon to it. it uh, Rounds out the liquor as well. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the bubbly as well. Mm -hmm. that it, uh, gives it a nice crisp hit. I could have some morning eggs with this, I think. <laughs> but after you have a couple of these you'll probably be messing up your words so to start I also made a really yummy syrup and this is a strawberry rhubarb syrup so I took some rhubarb added in some water and sugar and let that cook until the rhubarb was soft then I added in my strawberries and let that cook until it was completely cooked down stuck it in a strainer until I had this delicious syrup so I am going to start by filling my cup with some ice and I'm a little bit extra and made some strawberry mint ice cubes. So I'm going to add a bunch of those. I can get them out. And then I'm going to add one part of Tangeray, hence the name. And then two parts of tonic water. And then I'm going to add in a nice generous scoop of my syrup. After you give that a quick stir, you can just add either a strawberry or a lime for garnish, and then you are all set. Alright guys, so this is the Tangeray Tongue Twister, because after a couple of these, you won't be able to speak. So this is a pretty much a gin and tonic, and then I have a strawberry rhubarb syrup to top it off. And then you have some strawberry mint infused ice cubes. So enjoy! Here's the loop in our world. <laughs> well, this drink is near and dear to my heart. I'm a gin and tonic fan from long ago. This is a very good uh, addition to a classic. I wonder how the ice cubes, as they melt, change the flavor. Ooh. You can. You don't want to water down your gin, so drink quickly. This is very smooth, um, and I like the berry twist on it, and rhubarb. It's very nice. It's a very gin and tonic. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Damn. It's very gin and tonic. <laughs> Touche. <laughs>
away from things I let go Floating on the way We go bottoms up We go all the way When you're feeling down Push the pain away We go bottoms up We go all the way And face that shit another day We go bottoms up with our last cocktail. My cocktail is called the Galaxy Storm, inspired by the beautiful blue and purple colors that you're going to see mixed together to kind of create a swirling galaxy. Okay. And it's the storm because there's enough alcohol in it that if you have one or two, you'll surely be dancing up a storm. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. What are we doing with all of this stuff? So mine is a little bit different. It's a frozen cocktail. Okay. We're here at my cousin's beach house. Perfect. And when, summer. when I think beach, I think of myself with a frozen cocktail in my hand. So yeah. I want to do something frozen and fun and a little bit tropical. <laughs> so. so first off, we're going to do the purple part. Okay. So we're going to start off with one shot of tequila. Just one? Yes. Okay. Trust me, there's more. Okay. And then we're going to do three quarters of a shot of grenadine. Three quarters of a shot of blue curacao. This is what's going to make the purple. Yes, red and blue do make purple. Thank you for that. And then to finish off, because it can't be all alcohol, one shot of lemonade. So now we're just going to add some ice and blend this up. Okay, let's do that. So once that's all blended up, you're going to pour your purple portion into a glass and just set it aside. Okay. All right, now we're ready for the blue portion. So we're going to start off with one shot of blue curacao. Three quarters of a shot of peach schnapps. One shot of vodka. Generous shot of vodka. And then, to top it all off, another shot of lemonade. Okay. Once again, we're just going to add the ice and blend it up. Okay. Okay, now that you have your blue and your purple parts, we're going to make your final glass. So, to get the rim ready, you are going to dip the rim in some simple syrup. And I just made this um, myself with one cup of sugar and one cup of water boiled together. Okay. And then you dip it in your pink cocktail sugar. Oh my god, I could really love that. <laughs> yeah, super, super yummy and looks really good too. Oh, okay. And you're just going to scoop the full parts of the blue and purple into the glass. Okay. Manage this without making a mess. That's half the foam. This is like what I look like meal prepping, so don't worry. We've already had a few cocktails at this point, by the way. Yeah, this is the last one, so. <laughs> that purple one will get you. <laughs> a little bit more blue on top. Okay. Okay. And then you garnish it with a lemon. And there you go, the okay. galaxy storm. Voila. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Okay, boys, last one. This is the galaxy storm, a frozen cocktail inspired by the blue and purple colors that create a galaxy in your glass. And there's enough alcohol in it to have you dancing up a storm. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Let's see. Yeah. No one, no one wants a second thing. Yes. <laughs> Winning points with the uh, paraphernalia. Puff, puff, pass, Dan. So what do you think? <laughs> yep. <laughs> the presentation is amazing. I will say that right now. I appreciate the straw. It keeps it nice and cold. The straw is crazy. Nice. <laughs> Taste is good. Get the tequila.
feels pretty masked by the flavors. This is really a party in a cup. Mm. <laughs> hey, Bogart, let's bring it's, it back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's keep passing this around until it's gone. Uh, I would say the tequila in the salt, there must be some salt in the mix because I got the little, you know, kicker with, you know, you do the tequila shot with the salt and lime, I, I felt like it was all in there. Which is pretty good. You've had too many hits. I don't think they're salty. Yeah. <laughs> no there salt. probably is a heck of it. Maybe it's lined on the straw. I don't know. I like it because it adds a little sweetness to a typical margarita. Excellent. Very good. So we've compiled our results and we also threw in a bonus category of personal favorite where we each got to award a two point bonus based on what we like the most. And I am presenting the trophy of this year's uh, first annual, I believe, correct? Yep. Uh, drink competition. This is our vacation chicken. <laughs> um, clearly, probably not a chicken. My son, uh, Nate, is a couple years old and he calls us his chicken, so we're going to roll with it. <laughs> it's a fantastic prize. It really is. <laughs> it's valued immensely. There, you can't put a dollar sign on it, so it's yeah, priceless. Yeah. So, uh, before I announce the winner, I will have to say that every single one of you did an amazing job today. The drinks were delicious. They got us slightly intoxicated. There's not fully, but slightly. cups on the table. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, uh, I mean, it was just a fantastic experience. So, everybody really is a winner. But, you know, we can't make everybody a winner. We really have to announce one. So, um, out of a total of 66 points, yep. max. 20 for each person and two for our favorite. The winner was a clear winner. With 55 points, goes to the drum roll. Rachel! Woo! The chicken. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is so Thank you for our favorite drink. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. Thank it you. It was a pleasure drinking your oh. drink. It really was. It was fantastic. And we're saving all the straws for next year. Would you like to fun. say a few words? Where do you start? Where can I start? Man, this really means a lot to me. This was so unexpected. Really, everyone's drinks were so delicious, and I really thought I messed up pouring my drink and spilling it everywhere, but hey, look at this. The chicken shows. Taking home the chicken. I appreciate this, really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice.